All right, all right. Before we start, two things I need to tell you guys. First thing, no, this is not the Ark Knights killer. You guys got baited to engage and boost the performance of my video so that it gets reached out to a wider crowd. But the actual Blue Archive fans that watch my content, I think they can see the amount of passion and love that I put into these reactions when the anime is good. I think Blue Archive is good. Second point, the subs, the subtitles, the official subtitles are dookie. Many people are typing that. It is absolute dookie. And my friends on the high seas, you know, your horror mateys. It, it takes like another day or two to get the better subs out. Because I want to be on schedule today and upload Blue Rock Cry on time, I am using the official subs. But let me know if you guys are fine with waiting another day or two and waiting for the, the better subs to arrive. But again, just let me know what's going on. Let's begin today's reaction. Jesus! Jesus Christ! Jesus! Who the fuck is this girl? Huh? Are, did we skip a couple episodes? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is episode two. Sensei got a new fucking girl. No, no, no. Sensei seems like he was teaching other classes too last episode. So this is the other classes that he has. And this girl with this mask. She reminds me of fucking, uh, what's her name? Oh, shit. Hanabi. Honkai Star Rail and a sparkle. It's got that sparkle aesthetic, right? She's got the fox kitsune kind of mask. Shari building. Erif. Erif. So we have elves in this game too. It's not just a bunch of cat girls and dog girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Item left by the student council president who disappeared, right? The general student council pres is kept here. Okay, the item? Oh, it's the iPad that talks to us. And the girl in the post credit scene in that classroom filled with water apparently might be the girl that's talking through this iPad, but the student council pres gave this to us. It's called the Shittim chest. I mean, branding-wise, it's probably... I don't know about this name, man. The shit in chest. The shit in chest. She's literally said in Japanese, the shit in chest. It, that's what it is. It's not even the sub's fault right now. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. We got the shit in chest iPad. We don't know how it works. We don't know how this thing works. Just plug the fucking battery cord in. It's out of battery. System. Link start. So he goes, link start, and then this girl again. Arise. Hello. Sensei this. She's so cute. The blue halo changed to green. And also, this room right now. This room right now. Last episode, I don't know how the fuck we got in there. But this episode, we activated the Shittim chest. And then we got transported in here, which is, and this classroom is just filled with water, ocean, and our class is filled with sand. Uh, I don't really know what else is going on, but those are the important details. I don't know. System manage. <laughs> She's the unknown moderator that maintains this unknown item called the Shittim chest. That she is the basically admin of the Shittim. Sensei's assistant. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, it's the helmet girls. The helmet king that we just dumpstered. Okay, if no one fucking dies, aren't we just wasting bullets? Why do we even need to defend ourselves against them? What the fuck are they gonna do? We can't die. They just go pew pew pew. Oh, it stop shooting at me. And like the whole thing about last episode was, hey, we are out of these like resources. We need more ammo, please. You know, can we get some more ammo? Aren't we just wasting fucking money shooting at these fucking helmet girls? That doesn't do anything. I can maybe fix and run away, but like, I don't know. No one can die right now. Oji-san is tired. Oji-san's gotta get her nap. This girl is so sus last episode. Is she a traitor? Is she a double agent? What's going on right now? Sussy, sussy!
What the fuck did Sensei tell them to do? These girls were fighting, and then Sensei showed up, booted up the shit in chest, the iPad, and it was like, You go there? You go there! And then we won. Because the game is obviously about, you know, coordinating the girls to position themselves, you know, similar to... I'm not, I'm not sure if it's... I haven't actually played the game. People are saying play the game, that's the only way you'll know, but if I play the game, I'm gonna get spoiled. So, my assumption is, you have these girls, you place them on the fucking grid, uh, strategically, some classes are better against others, you got in frontline, DPS, support, stuff like that. So that's what Sensei was kind of doing. You know what I'm talking about, though. It's kind of similar where you would position the girls like that, right? Two hundred six years to pay off. Why? Is this, okay, she's gonna explain. I was like, is it the fucking blonde girl that used her golden card to buy the fucking dumbbells every day? Decades ago, we're getting a plot. Okay. So sandstorm just happened. We don't know why, but it just happened. So the Abidos of Thomas region was covered in sand. The money is to refund, to repair the city. And who runs Kaiser Loans? I wonder. It's gotta be, it sounds very predatory, right? We were so desperate, the bank wouldn't give a shit, so we had to go to Kaiser Loans. I mean, a person probably named Kaiser fucking runs this, runs it. More sandstorms. And then they left. Okay. Can't you just go to a different school though? They can't because this is our home. That's why they're still sticking around here, right? So I just all left. Now it's so lonely here. No. How are we going to make money, Sensei? You want to be a sugar daddy or what? You got money? Oh, it's her. She's talking. Outsider. She has some issues. Trust issues from outsiders. She's not just being sued today. There seems to be some kind of past where she got betrayed by an outsider, right? That's the only reason why she would say this. Well, was there previous senseis that just left us? Is that why she's acting like this? But she's been acting very weird from episode one. So maybe this isn't genuine. And maybe this is all to like... I don't know where I'm going with this. Is this girl trying to get us more in debt? Is she trying to get rid of Sensei? Is it in her best interest to keep this shit going on here as it is? Because she was acting really weird last episode too. I don't know. Maybe these are genuine feelings and maybe she did get betrayed. The other girls aren't? Hmm. I think it's just this trust issues. Let's work hard together. Group chat, group chat. セリカ、セリカ、カフェでも行って。セリカ、ラウンド<笑><笑> Oh, let's just stalk her together after we just said stop stalking her. All right, let's go stalk her together. Oh, Hello, Serika. Uh, oh. <laughs> Everyone is just an animal, dude. It's just like you have these girls that have the halos. That's like cute furry girls. And then everyone else, the NPCs are animals. What is up with that? Is there a reason? Serika. Target. Alright. That's the shit in chest, right? Wow, look, Serika's such a nice girl. She's helping the elderly cross the, you know, the street. Just casually shooting people in the streets because that's what happens in Blue Archive. Uh, ramen place? Hey, they mentioned the ramen place we should go to last episode, right? So this is the one, okay? Shiba Seki Ramen. Shiba. Shiba dog, right? Seki. Uh, her name is... 
Seri Khan. No, it's not the family owned restaurant. Yeah, she mentioned that last step. And she was like, huh? What's going on? <laughs> Look at this. Fucking animals. <laughs> Hello, Shiba Inu. This is kind of embarrassing, man. I don't know. Like, like, if you're in high school, like when I was working at McDonald's, like my friends knew I worked there, so they'd come over. I didn't really feel embarrassed. What I would do is like, if the boys showed up, I would just like make the most ridiculous fucking burger. Just like lay up beef patties, bacon, nuggets, just fucking naked monster Frankenstein burger and give them for cheap. That's what I used to do, bro. Part-time Setika outfit's very cute, yes. I feel like Setika's gonna fucking spit in Sensei's ramen. But I know that you motherfuckers would want that, right? I know you definitely want to fucking drink up Setika spit. <laughs> いやあ。美味しい。うまい。え、そうだろう、そうだろう。さすがセリカちゃんの友達だ。あの客足が落ちてね。おお、why? hope this ramen restaurant goes well, bro. God damn, Shiba Gigacha. When will Serika realize how good Sensei is? See, even Shiba approves. It's uh, sunset lighting. Sunset lighting means important things about to happen. Are we still stalking Serika though? Shiba approves. It's so soon today, man. We've seen a lot of soon, soon, soon. Where's the dere? Hmm? That sense he was gonna try to raise her up. Yeah, she was great. Yeah, trust them. You're gonna make her walk home? You got a bike? Give her a ride! Well, there's not enough of a seat. There's not enough of a seat, but goddamn! You're just gonna walk, Serika, walk back home alone? <laughs> Peace, bitch! See you tomorrow! Have fun walking home for an hour! Slowly, she'll give in. What happened in the past? It's our school. Uh oh! Serika's gonna get kidnapped! The helmet fuckers! Come on! See? If only she gave her a fucking bike ride back home, guys! Shit him, chest! Wake up! Where do I go? How, how, how does this work? He just fucking opens up the iPad? Does he fucking enter the iPad? No, he just playing on the iPad. And this is what we're seeing in the iPad, right? It's not like he actually entered the fucking shit him chest, right? Because like every time we open this thing, you know, we're talking what they're in a fucking classroom in a different dimension. But I think it's just a representation of him using the fucking shit him chest. Hmm? Yeah, this is what's happening. This is what's actually happening. I have access to central network managed by the general student council. And then the shit'em chest is fucking OP. The shit'em chest can literally do anything. This AI fucking moderator, it just has connections everywhere. It is literally UE in SAO, right? So like anything, any question, anything we need, any leads, location, tips, advice. She got it. <laughs> Also, you have that authority. Sounds fucking broken. Why does Sensei has it? Well, it's because Sensei's the fucking self-insert main character that you're supposed to play as a blue archive. But beyond that, why would they trust Sensei? Why is he so important? Are there other Senseis? He does seem to be leading a different class in the beginning of this episode. And he did get that authority. Trusted by the general student council president that left. 
I don't know. I don't know. Other than just, you know, bullshit MC reasons, why is he trusted? What? What? Serika, oh no! She got kidnapped by the helmet gang. The desert? We're going into the desert? How the fuck is this kid allowed to drive? These are fucking like 14 year old kids, bro! Ain't no way she got the fucking driver like Anyway, it's a different world, that's fine. You're right. They're not 14. They're 18 plus. They're all college girls. Consenting adults. Every single one of them. They're all, all adults. This is a college campus. You're right. You're right. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. College. Transportation. Deal. Trading for who? Believe in Sensei. Oh, oh, she's crying. But interesting how she said, I wonder if I'll be buried. Is that important? We're going to the desert. Is burial of a body like significant mechanism in this game? Because seemingly they don't die with fucking bullets. But if you just like buried her in the sand, does that happen before? I died. Oh. Oh, 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 shit. Jesus Christ. There we are. Back up. Woo, let's go. Okay, we just have backup shit in the warehouse. Nice. Holy shit, they got entire fucking tanks, bro. <laughs> You're getting rescued, Serika. Rare Serika with tears in her eyes. I think it would be beautiful if this is Sensei opening it and saving Serika. And then Serika would know, wow, Sensei came for me. But hey, this is cool too. Let's go, Shiroko. Cry, baby. You were crying. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Only place where you can see I'm a stalker confidently and somehow it's rising. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just stalking, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> dude, her Gatling gun is crazy, dude. Not snipe, more like long range rifle. Is that specific to Shiroko? The missile here? I don't know, everyone has their own different weapons. Missiles? Okay, okay. Drone strikes OP. Oh shit! <laughs> Sensei is immortal, don't worry. Oh, oji -san, what's in the bag? Oh, Jesus, I'm so nimble. What is the sensei? Of course, they're gonna skip the fucking plan, bro. Come on now. Now, uh, how would we beat the tanks if it's armored? Either we have artillery that can break the tanks, or we shoot into the fucking tank thing. Isn't it a common thing where you shoot a single bullet into the fucking, you know, the 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 shooting thing of the tank's chambers? And if it hits right, then it'll explode from within or some shit. Isn't that like a cliche with anti-tank stuff? You got a plan? And then? Skip the plan. I don't know, you didn't tell me, Sensei! Serika will be MVP? Cliffhanger. Not yet, okay, never mind. Imada! Uh, some supply drop? This is the ending probably, right? Serika just gonna run to a building? That's the plan? Uh, Serika went to the building to snipe. Countdown. Drop! Oh, is it explosives? Explosives on top! Okay, I was like, what the fuck? How are we not getting impacted by this? But OG Sun Shield. I mean... Oji-san's shield's not even wide enough to cover these girls, bro! Oji-san's shield barely covers half of, you know, each, but it's fine. Oji-san's shield will fucking do everything. Yes, yes. This fucking girl just shooting artillery from the tank. It's like, we gotta run away now! Well, you guys. What, a, what a cute ending to a cute episode. Mina.
お疲れ様私らの先生は偉大だね素晴らしい先生<笑>我が主<笑> I just realized Shiroko's eyes one black diamond one white diamond it's not really a diamond but you know this shape black and white interesting maybe it matters maybe it doesn't Serika Arigato Dead at time It's not like I wanted you to save me or anything Wait, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. You were crying, don't lie to me. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, the power of the Sundere. Oh, Dere actually just translates to shy. I never really understood what the word Dere meant. Because like Sundere, Sun is basically what you expect from a Sundere, right? They're just being so fucking obnoxiously annoying. Not annoying, but they're like being so like, you know. They're like being a tsundere, but then the dere side is like the nice part, right? The soon is like the cold thing, and the dere is like the nice, you know, the wholesome, you know, accepting side. But I guess it kind of translates to shy, or the subtitles are just wrong. <laughs> Aww. They really dote on Serika, huh? Post credit scene? Post credit scene? Wait, 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 wait. Kata Kata Helmet Gang getting trounced by? Problem Solver 68. Okay, they're the problem solver 68. We got new girls and I don't think they don't look like the girls in the intro. No, they don't. Completely new faction. Yeah, they are one number away from, you know, being problem solver 69 though, huh? And that's another episode of Blue Archive. What did we learn today? I think the most important thing was what was going on in the intro scene, right? So for some, this is in the past. Sensei was leading a group of different girls, right? And Sensei was entrusted with the Shidim chest after the general, uh, president, the general council president, you know, disappeared. The item was delivered to him and he has pretty much access admin privileges to Aruna, who is just like this... She's like the OS. She's like she knows everything. She's like AI. She can figure out shit. It's really helpful, right? So this is kind of like OP fucking powers. Wonder why she's stuck in here. There must be a reason that we don't know. This girl looks very cute. It'd be nice if she could, you know, come out and just play with us. But it seems like she's bound to the shit in chest. The other stuff was this episode was to deal with, you know, Serika, right? So Serika is super soon today. She does not approve of Sensei either because of an outsider that portrayed her in the past or it's the fact that our group that we had, this tight knit group is suddenly revolving around Sensei and Serika might feel like, oh shit, I don't feel like it's the same anymore. I think it might be that. And now that she realizes that everyone approves of Sensei, even Shiba, you know, Sensei came to help her, right? So she approves of Sensei now. So I think that Serika drama is over. And at the end, post credit scene, new group. We are a problem solver 69 minus one. Unfortunate that it's only 68, but they'll do anything for money. And they took out the Helmet Gang. Who paid these girls off? We'll find out next time. But if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.